see a real man. I bet you stay up late every night dreaming you had a real man, don't you? I tell you what, bring your pretty little self over to my apartment tonight, and I'll show you a real man. You want your girl? back again for another um, review and um, this time it's um, a figure that it's to me the most sought after for a while and it was a uh, complete it's to complete my collection um, I have certain hot toys that um, I want to get and once I get them I'm gonna be done with my collection and uh, I might even actually quit collecting one sixth so this is one of them um, I'll probably talk about later with some of the other ones I, I'm gonna get, but um, it's a Clubber Lang, and um, I already did a Rocky 3 review, so it was an obvious choice to go with uh, this one, and um, it's the Southside Clubber Lang Blister Exclusive. Blister is a store in Japan that sells uh, one six figures and collectibles. There's a uh, Blister again. And uh, Hot Toys made this exclusively, this figure, just for that store. It's that popular. So uh, that's the front of the box. Here's the side of it. With a picture of, that's right, Mr. T, Clubber Lang, from Rocky III. Now this uh, figure is limited. I think there was like 500 made or something like that. It's a low number, but... Um, it was offered at Sideshow, but um, and probably online was the only end of store. It was probably the only place you can actually get it. So as of this figure, only two figures had come out. It was uh, the first Rocky Balboa, and then the boxing um, outfit, Clubber Lang. <coughs> there's side view of the box. And then there he is in there, so um, pull him out so you can get a better view of him and see what he looks like. Okay, so here he is out of the box. And um, if you don't know or haven't seen Rocky 3, this uh, version of Mr. T is from when um, he was talking to Rocky Balboa. He was smack talking while Rocky was announcing his retirement in front of um, the museum in Philadelphia when they revealed the statue of uh, Rocky Balboa. So it's taken from that scene and um, it's pretty accurate. I mean, um, he's got a black sh turtleneck on and uh, black pants, which with Hot Toys is all really good quality. Um, and these boots, which I don't know if he was wearing those. I don't think you could really see in the shot. And uh, speaking of details, I mean, look at the inside of this coat. It has a lining, which, like, you don't even see. But Hot Toys went out of their way to put that in there. I mean, it's pretty nice. Um, the coat feels kind of like, I guess, lead. Like, I don't know, I can't describe it. It's like a suede, I, I guess. Um, and, I mean, it's a lot of details. The rings on his finger to the chain on his, um, his wrist right down to the earrings I mean it's it's pretty detailed um, and then as far as the sculpt goes it I know this is like bad lighting but um, it, it looks like Mr. T and I mean this is one of the reasons why I kinda got this figure um, not just because it's from Rocky 3 um, which is one of Mr. T's first kind of into limelight kind of things, you know, it's the first any of anybody saw in America of Mr. T and, and I think it's one of the first times he said I pity the fool, fool actually. But um, it it's resembles him really, really good. Um, I don't know if Hot Toys got the likeness or what was up with it, but it, it looks dead on to him. And um, he's definitely an obscure character figure, I mean, basically I just got a Mr. T figure, I mean he's sure from Rocky, but if someone just saw this figure to be like, well, it's Mr. T. And, um, I think it's pretty cool. 
it uh, looks like him, and it's Hot Toys, um, which is great. I don't have his medallion on, I have that still in the bag, and he also comes with like a little pouch that goes on him. Um, just because I'm going to put him back in the box and put him away in storage until I get a proper display case for him. Um, some of the gripes I have with this figure is um, minor things like it says Clubber Lang, but it says Blister Exclusive. It's kind of annoying, but not enough that you know I would need to buy another stand just so it says Clubber Lang. It doesn't bother me that much. Um, his coat's kind of puffy, but you could just mess with it to get it kind of the right way you want it. Is another thing that I have um, that isn't quite 100% perfect, but this figure is pretty good. Especially for an exclusive, they went out of the way to make it this good. Um, he doesn't have the rubber body that most of the Rocky figures do. It's just a standard Hot Toys true type body. And he is fantastic. As I said earlier, this is one of those obscure characters that in my collection is just kind of weird. Another one that I kind of am looking for and trying to get is the Jor-El from the Superman Returns. And um, there's only a couple Hot Toys that I have left that I want to get. And then after that, um, really considering, especially how we're going through recession, on whether or not I still want to get um, Hot Toys in general. There's some I have on pre-order at Sideshow and some upcoming ones. But after that, I um, really don't know if I really want to still stay in this collecting game of getting these guys. Um, I was lucky with this one to get them at a good deal on eBay. Uh, for ninety dollars, and he normally goes for one hundred fifty, if not more. But it's just getting harder with prices, and it's just taking a toll. And I'm pretty much just catching up to the figures that I really want. So um, won't be seeing me like end any reviews soon. But uh, I am getting the Joker next week, so that's good. It's the bank robber Joker, so I'll do another review for that guy. And I'm stoked about it since um, finally getting him. So this is once again. Um, Mr. T from Rocky 3 Hot Toys. Subscribe if you haven't already, and um, I'll keep you guys updated. I'm sure I'll have a couple more reviews coming up, so stay tuned.